so it's around half past five now so I've had sort of a good four and a half hours uh, rest um, four and a half hours of much needed sleep and uh, yeah the rods have gone back out just flicked out solid bags um, just out into the same region is where I was getting the bikes from um, last night now uh, once this sort of 7 a.m. curfew comes along I am gonna stick some bait out um, last night I only managed to get five or six uh, spawns out before uh, the 7 p.m. Uh, arrived and I had to stop spawning but that probably lasted all the five minutes in all honesty so I will definitely be uh, giving them the rest of that bait this morning and putting that out there at the uh, at the range that I was having those fish from yesterday and through the night so uh, so yeah it's a beautiful morning already I've just sort of watched the sunrise just over my uh, over my shoulder coming up above those reeds so I can see the sun starting to poke through and uh, it's going to be another beautiful day so a day of keeping out the sun drinking plenty of water eating plenty of food and just making sure I take good care of myself so uh, yeah it's going to be time to get the kettle on any second and uh, yeah just wait for that 7am um, spawning time to come around Well then, I was uh, just chilling out in the shade that uh, my bivvy is offering me in this scorching heat and uh, my right hander is gone uh, reaming off and I've gone and caught myself my very first grass carp and apparently he's, a, he's an alright size as well to be fair I don't know, I don't, can't say I've ever caught a grass carp before but uh, what I do know, he's uh, proper slimy and he's uh, proper angry. But uh, I'll try and get him up for the camera for you. But he took a look into my solid bag and my uh, Nut365 hook bait. Let's see if I can fit him in the frame. But look at that one. Well happy with that. My first ever grass carp. And he's definitely weighable as well. There's been a few fish caught up and down the bank through the night in the morning. A nice 15 kilo fish as well. So uh, fair play to uh, Alex for, for having that one. I've seen the photos, but yeah, look at him. Mega, so, so happy with that. My first ever grass carp. So just pop him in the edge, wait for him to be weighed. I've got a mix here of uh, just literally pellet and boily. Now it's uh, 12 mil Hinders seafood, 12 mil Hinders nut 365, and um, glugged heavily in the, uh, liquid seafood now absolutely honks but give it a good shake because when it's sort of sat there it separates all your oils and the uh and sort of the, the thicker liquid do separate so before you use it give it a really really good shake i've given that a really really good glug most of that has actually been soaked in that overnight because i didn't actually manage to get all of that bait out last night before the 7 p.m baiting up curfew so I've uh, yeah stuck a load more of that in there give it another good glug of all this and uh, yeah that's what I'm just using really simple baiting technique you know nothing over complicated pellet little 12 mil boilies and they'll just uh, complement my uh, solid bags so um I want to finish off getting the rest of uh, the rest of this in um, the sun's coming out and I'm going to be making sure I stay out of that today and uh, yeah just sit back and see if we can manage to nick ourselves a day bite it's our first sort of full day so yeah looking forward to seeing what that day has in store
I'd uh, yeah, stuck sort of half a dozen spoms out around sort of half eight, half past eight. And uh, the day's progressed. It's gone midday now, I believe. And uh, yeah, as you can tell, it, it is absolutely scorchio, but it hasn't stopped a double take. Got a really nice common. Got Andreas behind me, come to film the action. He done a bit of a tag team with Deonora. So I had two cameras behind me at one point. And uh, yeah, just as I was about to land the common that is in that net, we had a, uh, a chunky mirror arrive as well. So that one went ripping off. But managed to get them both in, so that's all that matters. So uh, let's get the camera, uh, camera over to the mat. And uh, yeah, we'll have a little bit of a closer look. Oh, well, there we go then. My second upper 20 of the session. And uh, yeah, what an absolute backbreaker. I can feel my, uh, my back twinging as I hold it. But um, I don't care. The bikes are coming, the sun's shining, I'm feeling good. And that is all that matters. What an experience and what a session. And slip them in the edge, ready to be weighed. And uh, yeah, just adding more pounds, more kilos even, to the scoreboard. Well, this is the first one of that double take then. Nice little golden common, probably six, seven kilos, I'd imagine, give or take. But uh, yeah, more than. More than welcome on this hot, scorching day. So, uh, I'm gonna again slip them in the edge, ready for the marshals to come round, give them a little way, and uh, I need to get two rods back out. Early afternoon, um, I lost one earlier, unfortunately. Um, yeah it was it felt good I'm not gonna lie um although most of them feel good when they're out with sort of 80 yards and then they take 10 on the uh on the take but um yeah some of them just feel different you know they're a little bit a little bit bigger when they're out of that range you just kind of one can't really stop them on the immediate take and uh two they really do hold their own out there so yeah a little bit gutted about that it just literally was kiting left and uh, I was just trying to side steer it away really and just try and bring him a bit more into my water and the hook just popped out. Hook was razor sharp. So um, yeah, generally don't know what happened there to be honest. And then I had a little grass carp probably about an hour ago, which um, I just unhooked and uh, and slipped back because I generally don't think it, was, it would have made the five kilo sort of minimum weighing amount. So uh, yeah, just have food delivered. We've been really, really looked after on this trip. I'm not gonna lie, you know, the guys from Deeper, they've done absolutely everything for us, you know. Can't thank them enough for this opportunity to come over and fish in this uh, first ever sort of Deeper fish off. So they just brought in and uh, brought us um, some lunch. Proper nice, we'd get like lunch, uh, breakfast, lunch and some evening food. Got like a, what looks like possibly like a pea sort of soup there, but it looks proper tasty. And some type of maybe like curry type dish, I'm not overly sure, have no idea. I'm not even gonna pretend to know what I think, you know, what I think it might be. But uh, yeah, it looks good. It's gonna refuel me for the, uh, the rest of the evening. So um, I am gonna tuck into that and uh, yeah, make the most of that and uh, make sure that I am uh, keeping hydrated. I've got a load of water here. Keeping on top of that, it's been absolutely roasting today. As you might be able to tell from my rosy cheeks, but uh, the clouds have moved over. We've got a nice breeze coming through this bent, uh, vent of the uh, the tactical compact bivy. Nice big vent along the back, so keeping me nice and chilled and relaxed. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get stuck into this lot and uh, hopefully I'll be rudely disturbed by another screaming alarm. Well, the late afternoon scores then have just been uh, tallied up and it's uh, very close between myself and Alex, who I uh, actually sort of shared a room with um, when I first arrived. He's had a good number of fish today, it seems. He's, uh, he's had a good five or six fish, um, whereas I've only had the three, but a, uh, a slightly bigger one. So there's only really one, one, two fish in it, 10 kilos between us really, so. I uh, yeah, I need to pull my finger out tonight and try and stick one or two more on the on the bank. The wind has swung round; it's going off our backs now, 
But uh, yeah, don't know if that changes anything because it had been sort of blowing in my direction, um, obviously the the last day or so. So yeah, don't know if that's going to change anything. But um, but yeah, looking forward to seeing what the uh, the day has in store. I've had the biggest, the third, yeah, third biggest fish of the trip so far as well. So uh, so yeah, time to pull me finger out through the night and uh, tomorrow morning until 12 o'clock and hopefully we can uh, keep stacking the kilos on top of that total well then the rods were due a uh, were due a recast and uh, I was sat there sort of just deliberating over what to do recast them leave them an hour but uh, looks like this fish has made its mind up for me so uh, another mirror we've just done the evening weigh-ins I am currently 10 kilos in front in in position one so this fish will and be a nice addition to uh, the total but just as we're sorting this one out I hear Alex who's hot on my tail he has uh, also got a fish in peg three so uh, I think it's gonna be a bit of a two horse race if uh, yeah if anyone else don't join the party so we'll get this one up quickly for the camera and uh, We'll get him ready for the evening weigh-in. But yeah, really pretty mirror. Give me a great little scrap out in open water and uh, on the mat, as you've just seen. But um, but uh, yeah, a welcome addition to the uh, to the total. So I'm gonna get him back in the edge. So I've redone both the rods and we've got another 20 pounder on the mat. 20 pounds an ounce is maybe just touching 21, but uh, yeah, another lump on the mat, adding, ever increasing, adding to that total, which is uh, definitely helping me, hopefully, stay on that top, on that top spot. Look at this one, another Lithuanian brute. Yeah, 20 pound in ounces, smidge under 21, but definitely not complaining. Solid bags, strike again. number five of the evening um solid bags just still doing the damage i very much doubt i've got any uh any free bait left out there anymore put it that way um i've yeah had five fish that are weighable and i've also had two small grass carp under five kilos which i just had to slip straight back but look at this one for a proper character absolute massive mouth on it but yeah look at that proper big head on him but yeah, what a decent fish. Another one for the totals. And uh, another one who just couldn't resist that solid bag at 80 yards range. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get him in a uh, we'll get him in a sack, we'll get the marshals on the way around, and we'll get a little way. Happy days. Just swing him round while he's behaving. We'll show you the other side. Oh, sun is just setting over the back of the camera there, illuminating me nicely. It's a really nice, pleasant evening. But yeah, there we go, look. Proper character. Big old tail, big old head, everything about it. It's just a proper unit. Get some pictures quickly and we'll slip it back.
as you can tell the sun is just setting behind me it is half past 10 um, the mosquitoes are out in force and the frogs are in full chorus so uh, the rods have gone back out I've had a little flurry of uh, three kilo grass carp and I've just had like a three kilo common as well so I'm just fishing bags now. I know for a fact there's not gonna be any bait left out there. Um, I'm a bit kicking myself really that I didn't put more out. Um, you know, I'm not really a big baiter anyway, so you're always kind of like wondering whether, oh, you know, is that overkill, etc. But this sheer amount of stock of fish in here, I, I, I should have known better really, and I should have put more out, but it doesn't matter. Um, you know, I've still got solid bags out there, so they're still fishing. If it was anything like last night, I was getting bites right up to one o'clock this morning, uh, right one o'clock in the morning. Um, I won't be reeling the rods in tonight, that's for certain. The top two places, um, myself in number one and Alex in number two, he's uh, just around 25 kilos behind me now. So that could be anything from, you know, two, uh, two fish, two bigger fish or, uh, you know, five, five smaller ones. There's definitely, um, you know, a chance that he can catch me up. So uh, yeah, I just need to keep plugging away really and try and stick a few more fish on the map. But the session doesn't end until 12 midday tomorrow, so we will see. But for now, I'm gonna wind it up here, get myself on that sleeping bag and just lay back and chill. And uh, hopefully one of those two down there will uh, start to sing. And uh, yeah, I'll be playing what could be my final few Lithuanian carp. So let's just hope it's enough to get me over the line. <laughs> 